Mervyn, solid first round win. You've got to be happy with that. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a lot of people will look at that and think, oh, well, you know, I mean, the opponent only had a 66 average. But, I mean, you, you've got to bear in mind that that's Jeff's first time on TV. He's never played darts on TV before. Um, when the crowd got behind him, he started to play like Jeff Kent. Um, you know, and I, I had to block that out and, and just carry on doing what I was doing. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice to get through, um, and it's nice to play reasonably well, but if I was under pressure, would I play that well, or would I play it even better? I don't know. Um, only time will tell. I mean, you've still got to go out and do a job in that mm. sense. Yeah, for um, sure. When, I mean, you cruise into a 2 0 lead. When you, were, when you had the break, how, how important was it to compose yourself and, and not to get complacent in the You can never get complacent. I've, I've been there um, probably 10 years ago um, and raced into a, a two set, two legs lead in the World Masters final. And thought, well, that's it, that's mine. I missed three darts at a double and end up losing it. Um, where I should have won the World Masters before I did in 2004. So I learned from that. Uh, and now I, I try every leg I play, I want to win. Um, whether it's 12 darts, 11 darts, 15 darts, 21 darts. Um, you know, I mean, if you get a chance, you've got to take it. If you can't, and you give your opponent a chance that they miss, then take it next time. I mean, you can never stop learning in this game full stop. Oh, no. I mean, no. you mentioned that it was Jeff's first time on television, uh, and he'll definitely learn from that experience. Of course he will. I mean, the, the man's a quality player. Um, you, don't, you don't win a, a major tournament in Australia by being lucky. You know, um, I watched him on the practice board when, when we were playing before we went up. Um, the man threw some quality darts. Um, unfortunately for Jeff, he, he didn't take that up to the stage, um, which I was hopefully banking on. Um, but you never know. You know, the, the man might have turned up and um, had 110 average and, and batted me, and I would have had a miserable Christmas, and, and that would have been it. But you know, unfortunately for myself, it, it, it went the right way for me. Uh, you are back now after Christmas as well. Uh, Colin Osborne or Michael Van Gogh in mm -hmm. the second round? Any preference? or No. Um, if I turn up and play properly, I'm really not bothered who I play. Um, I, I would prefer Michael because he's a bit quicker than Colin. Um, Colin's a, a slower player than Michael. But, um, you know, I mean, I've, I've got to play what's in front of me, regardless of who it is and how quick or how slow they play. So um, I'm not fast. I will just play my own game to the best of my ability on the day and hopefully have a good enough. And is it a sense of in this tournament is just play the game, not the occasion? Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been in World Championship. I, I haven't missed a World Championship since my first one in '97. Um, so it's uh, it's a learning curve every time you play, but you you take what you've learnt from those previous years into every game you play um, and hope that uh, holds you in good stead for that particular game. Mervyn, congratulations. Yes, thank you. Enjoy your Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you.